What is up, you beautiful deadheads? I am back, and today we're doing another episode of Setup Royale. As always, today we'll be taking a look at five amazing setups, and then it's your job to eliminate four of them and leave one standing alone as the Setup Royale winner. Each of these setups was submitted to me on Discord, so make sure to join the Discord if you haven't already. The link is either in my description or it's somewhere else. It's probably gonna be in my description though, so go go check that out. And make sure if you like this video to give it a thumbs up, and if you really dislike it, give it a thumbs down. And make sure that if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and let's get right into it. Our first submission today is from Soreness. Soreness has this really low-key white and wood paneled setup that's quiet, but packs a real punch. His PC on the right here features a Ryzen 9 5900X cooled by a Cooler Master ML240L V2 AIO, a 3070 Ti, 16GB of 3200MHz DDR4 RAM, 512GB of SSD storage, a 750W power supply, MSI B450 Tomahawk Max motherboard, all of that inside of a Corsair 275R case, which you did not send me by the way, but I was able to find out because I'm, I'm smart like that. And with the specs out the way, Soreness has some legit peripherals, starting with the Apex Pro Mini Wireless Keyboard, which has a custom paint job and keycaps. Wow. Then moving on, we have a Sidoranko mouse pad where he uses his G Pro Superlight paired with the G Pro X headset and Elgato Stream Deck. He's even got a Go XLR and Shure SM7B for that god tier audio. And by the way, Soreness, if you're watching this video, please send me your Twitch or your stream because you've got to be making content somewhere and I want to see it. And to finish off, Soren has even left a little list of the fish that he has for anyone interested, like myself. He's got two fancy goldfish, three zebra danios, three live bearer uh, guppies, three red tail fish, and one pleco. If I mispronounce any of those, I apologize. Just an absolute vibe, Soreness. Thank you for your entry. Next on our list is Lost. Lost here has a nice single monitor setup with a couple of really cool things in it. Let's start off with his monitor, which is a 27 inch 1440p QHD gigabyte monitor with an awesome Mandalorian wallpaper on it. I'm a huge fan. Let me know what season is your favorite. And if you're excited for the new upcoming season, I myself am extremely excited. Powering those visuals though is his black and blue PC on the left featuring a hefty specs list. Those specs start with an Intel i9-10900K being cooled by a Corsair IQ H150i Elite AIO combined with a 3080 Ti, Asus ROG Maximus Z490 motherboard, 32GB of Corsair Vengeance DDR4 RAM, a Corsair 850W power supply, 2TB of WD Black and Intel SSD storage space, and a Seagate uh, Barracuda 2TB hard drive and Corsair 5000X case. I told you it was a mouthful, it's a lot. Lost also mentioned that their PC cables are all custom sleeved as well. Very nice touch. And their peripherals start with a Corsair K100 keyboard, Rocat Cone AMO mouse, Corsair MM700 mouse mat, and Logitech G432 headphones. Lost even has a hardware monitor on the side of their setup so they can see exactly what the temperatures, voltages, and even clock rates are within their PC. In my opinion, that's a really, really cool addition, although I probably would prefer something a little bit more discreet and maybe on the actual PC myself, but I think it's really, really cool. Amazing setup, Lost. I appreciate your entry. Great work. Next up is Shuin. Shuin has this really, really, really cozy corner desk setup with a single monitor just like Lost. Shuin also has a custom PC on the right featuring an i7-10700K cooled by a 240mm MSI AIO paired with an RTX 3070, a Z590 Vision motherboard, 16GB of 3200MHz Corsair Vengeance RGB RAM, an Inwin and Arctic case fans, and an Alien Lee O11 dynamic case. For peripherals, Shuin has a glorious Model O mouse and Razer Huntsman TKL keyboard with a 34-inch gigabyte ultrawide monitor up top. In my opinion, there are like one or two things that are really holding the setup back from being absolutely spectacular. To start off with, Shuin has some really, really nice vines and greenery all around their setup, which in my opinion, you can't really appreciate unless you have the light to the right color. And maybe that's just because of the picture that you took or whatever, but in that light, it doesn't look the most fantastic, but that's your decision and I fully leave it up to you. As for the case, I know everybody loves the O11 Dynamic, but I've seen so many people using this case and in their setups and stuff like that. And honestly, I just feel like switching it up would add a little bit of personalization to it. And it's not your fault that everybody likes it. It's just that when everyone has it and it's so oversaturated in the market, that makes everyone have it. There's no personalization to it. And I don't know, just having something different would be so much cooler. I, I don't know, that's just, that's just me. 
All that aside, I still love the setup and it is a fantastic piece of work that you have here, Shuin. Although my opinion should not sway the opinions of others, so let me know in the comments if you guys like Shuin's. And Shuin, thank you for your entry. Our next entry is Pro-G. Pro-G has a dual monitor gaming setup being powered by an Xbox and his laptop right in the middle. That laptop features an i7-6700HQ with a GTX 970M GPU, 1TB of hard drive space, and 12GB of RAM. For peripherals, Pro-G has a Fine Fine T669 mic, HyperX headset, Corsair K55 keyboard, Logitech G502 mouse, and the beautiful Logitech G920 racing wheel. Both of his monitors are 60Hz, and one of them is from Gateway, and the other one's from ASUS. He did mention to me, by the way, that his keyboard is now to the right and his wheel is no longer there in the setup, but I would say to free up more space, you could probably move your Xbox behind one of your monitors or behind the laptop just to save a little more space. And although I love the personalization of the rally car on the side there, I do feel like it takes up way too much space on your desk, so I would say that for just space and tension, I would use that for so many other things, maybe just take it off, put it somewhere else, or you can get a shelf installed like you have on the left there, maybe on the right, you could put like some model cars on there or something like that. I think that would really save some space and still have your personalization in there. I'd say as well that a light would go a long way in this setup, either as an ambient light or as an RGB light to like just set the mood under the desk or along the baseboard, something to add just a little bit more customization as well. But thank you Pro-G for your entry. And last, but certainly not least, we have a setup here from Davian. Davian's setup is arguably one of the best setups we've seen thus far in my Discord, and by the way, just more Discord plug link in my description, but some people in his Grade My Setup video weren't exactly impressed in the same way that I was, but that is for you guys to decide. Is Davian's setup awesome? Let me know in the comments. But let's get right into it. Davian's setup here is a work and play setup that he uses for both working on schoolwork and then also playing games with his buddies when he's not working. His work PC is a Lenovo Think Center M710Q, which has an Intel i5 7500T, 8GB of DDR4 RAM, and a 256GB SSD. Although this PC is so small, functionally it's still very, very good, and the added benefit of it being so small is that you can barely notice it in the setup, which actually it took me a couple times to actually look at it to realize that's the PC right underneath the motherboard. I meant to say monitor, not motherboard. But for his work peripherals, Davian has a Logitech MK470 keyboard and MX Master 3 mouse. And just before we go in depth on Davian's gaming PC, let's just take a second to truly absorb what we are looking at here. Dragon Ball posters, minimalistic yet complicated personalization, and just look at his wallpapers. Dude has seriously put some work in on his setup. It is truly a work of art, at least in my opinion. Now how about this gaming PC though? Davian's beautiful PC here has an Intel i7-12700F being cooled by an Enermax Liquimax 2 240mm AIO on an MSI Pro B660M motherboard with 16GB of Oloy Blade RGB DDR4 RAM, 1TB of Team Group SSD storage, and an RTX 3070 Ti, all of that inside of a Fantex P360A case. That was a lot to say in one line. Davian also mentioned that he also plans on upgrading his motherboard and case in the future, and it seems like he's already upgraded his case. And for peripherals, Davian's setup is running a white blue Yeti microphone, RK96 keyboard, and G305 mouse. All right, now that we're done with the overview for his setup, I wanna make a few suggestions myself. And since you've poured so many fine resources into making this PC setup possible, I'm going to be as picky and as hard on you as possible. First off, although I love the RGB where it is within your setup, I almost wish it were just a little bit higher up on your ceiling or at least if there were like a lamp or like light panel or something on the wall there just to fill in the corner of your of your walls and, and your room a little bit more, maybe with a diffusion tube as well, um, but I do understand why you have it that way. And I am a huge Dragon Ball fan and Naruto fan myself, and unless there's a specific reason for this, I would definitely hang these prints on the wall instead of just like placing them on the shelf there. I just feel like it would give a better look. I don't, I don't know, maybe play around with it, but I think it would look a little bit better just hung on the wall as opposed to just sitting on the shelf, you know what I mean? And that's all I have for you, Davey, and thank you for your entry and fantastic work on the setup. And that is it for episode two of Setup Royale. Now, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like here, and if you dislike this video, make sure to hit the dislike button because that way I truly know how you felt. And if you love this video and you wanna stay in the community for more and you wanna see more videos, make sure to subscribe because every single person here is a valued member of the community. And make sure to join the Discord if you wanna bring your setup into my community as well so we can either do it for a Grade My Setup video or we can do it for a Setup Royale video. Either way though, your setup is awesome. I cannot wait to see it. Thank you for being here and Deadhead Salute. Peace.